what's going on today we have competition squat and spot press um it is week two day three i have my rest day tomorrow so i've been going for a solid six days in a row so i am uh, ready for the rest day um we have a bunch of compounds today obviously i, had, I have four sets of comp competition squat i have i believe three sets of spotto a uh, spotto press which is it's pretty much just bench but you um you pause about an inch or two above your chest and then you go back up. So you kind of cut the range of motion on purpose and it's actually harder because you have to have really good control to pause it above your chest and then you have to have good control to push it up without letting it drop, obviously. Um, I have changed my bench again, which I know I said I wasn't going to, but I think I'm, I'm sticking with this one now. I finally have gotten the concept of like my quads being flexed, my glutes being flexed, my back being arched and everything being comfortable. And now it's just like little tweaks. My form shouldn't really change at all. You guys will see my form today, but I pretty much am doing what every good bencher in the world you've really seen have done. You put your feet in front of you. So it's what I was trying to do last time, what I said I was gonna do last time. And then I didn't end up doing it. I said I was gonna do the pistol bench, which is when your feet are in front of you. And I ended up having my feet really to the side, as you guys saw. And my arch was was good. It wasn't bad, but and my ankles were fine. Um, my feet, my heels were on the ground and everything. But what I have now is just a lot better. I think you guys can you guys can tell me. Um, I'll try to see if I can find a clip of like the three different bench styles I've used in the last few weeks, and you guys can tell me which one you think looks the best. I'm obviously going to go with the one that I think either gives me the best the best arch I feel the most comfortable in or I just feel like I have the most power in. Um, and right now I think that's the one I've been using for the last few sessions I've had. So you guys will see what it looks like today. Um, it's obviously inconsistent. I've only done it like really for one true session of actually having like a comfortable stance on the bench. So it's still gonna get tweaked a little bit, but hopefully it looks pretty good. Hopefully it feels pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys the stretches I do to help my arch a little bit today because I know I said I was going to do the last video and I didn't. Um, and then after we have some overhead press and then I think just some secondary movements. So it should be a decently long day, um, but I haven't done squats in, ooh, in, since Sunday. So since four days, three days ago. Today's Wednesday, I don't know if I said that. I think I said Thursday in the intro, but today is Wednesday. Um, I did squats on Sunday and I did pod squats, decently light. So I should be pretty fresh squats today. I did Bulgarians yesterday, but it shouldn't really affect my squat. So uh, we should be moving on some comp squats today. Obviously they're light, it's week two, still very hypertrophy based, um, but it, it should be a good session. So uh, see you guys in the gym. All right, so squats are moving pretty good right now. Um, I got my last one up here and I got three sets of four sets of six. Um, so hopefully they move well. Uh, also, by the way, Steel Asylum for this shirt, uh, code JML. Link in the description. Go copy one. Copy low, move around. Let your skin show, baby. Turn it up. Make it work. One more time. You know how it goes, baby. Shake your hips. Drop it low. Move around. Let your skin show, baby. Turn it up. Make it work. One more time. You know how it goes, baby. Shake your hips. Drop it low. Move around. Let your skin show, baby. Turn it up. Make it work. One more time. You know how it goes, baby. Shake your hips. Drop it low. Move around. Let your skin show, baby. Turn it up. You know how it goes, baby. Turn it up.
chance the squats move pretty solid. Um, pretty tired, but I'm going to stretch out. I'll show you guys the stretches I do to set up for my bench. All right, so the first focus here is just get this foam roller to like your upper back. And I'm going to breathe, push all my air down, and then just extend my arms. So. And you just stretch your upper back here. It's a very good stretch. You're going to feel like crazy. Obviously, you want to try to arch while you do this. And just practice and just stretch it out. Oh, about 10 seconds. That one feels pretty good. Next thing I do is this little neck stretch thing, upper back as well. You put one hand down. Then you're going to grab your head and just move your upper back here. So you're going to go... Then once you can't go up anymore, you're going to turn. And you should feel a lot of tension, obviously doing both sides. Okay. And the next one you're going to do is you lay flat. You put your forearms on the thing. And you're just going to lift your chest up like there's a plate under you that's spitting up fire. See your forearms stay on the, on the ground. You just lift your chest up. You feel a crazy arch in your lower back. Do this about three times. One more. You can see each time I get a little further of a stretch. Just opens up more. Last one I do is bird dogs. These look really stupid. Not bird dogs, sorry. Um, whatever these are called. These look really dumb, but they work very well. Cat cows. You're basically just rounding your back on purpose and then arching it for a few seconds. <laughs> Alright, then I grab a dumbbell, do some pullovers on the bench, set of five just to get the upper back stretch more, and then we're going to start. All right, so bench uh, moved decently well for him. So he a bunch, but it wasn't terrible. Obviously, it's spotto, so it looks a little weird. Uh, now I got overhead press, so this should move okay, hopefully.
All right, so that was a crazy overhead press PR. I hit uh, 110 for nine, three sets of nine. My PR is 140 for one, so that is pretty good. Now we got some curls. Let's get it. Set the world on fire, fire. So I forgot that um, I upped all my like super isolation movements to four sets instead of three. So I had four sets of curls, I had four sets of bent over flies, and then I got four sets of calf raises and some abs. So I've been here for way too long talking. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grind this shit out real quick and just finish it up. No more talking for the rest of this.
going to be for like the private room. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You said you like using the book. I'm super solid workout. Obviously, I was here for way, way, way too long. But we're gonna pose and we're gonna head out of here. The pump may be on because I talked for so long, but let's see what we're working with here. Alright, good session. See you guys in the car. Alright, so obviously that was a very long lifting session. Um, I talked for way too long, so I kind of lost my pump. Um, so the posing wasn't amazing, I'm not going to lie. But the workout was pretty good. Um, I had some kids that are very, very strong help me with my bench today as well, again. Um... So again, just practicing, 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 making sure my form is hopefully perfect eventually. Um, definitely felt better today. Got some claw activation for sure. It's really hard to see my arch when I'm wearing anything. It's like even a stringer, it's really hard to see unless I'm wearing like the tightest shirt I own. So I either need to start benching in like really, really tight t-shirts <laughs> or like without a shirt on at all, which I don't even know if I'm allowed to do. Um, so, I don't know, but it's definitely, it's not bad. It uh, hasn't been bad at all. Bench has been moving. Every lift's feeling good. Squat feels really good today, even though I've done uh, Bulgarian. I did Bulgarian yesterday, and I had pause squats on Monday. Um, I squat, or I didn't do anything Monday. I had deadlifts on Monday. I had deficit deadlifts on Monday, and I had Bulgarian yesterday. Um, my squat still felt really, really good, which is usually, I'd say, a good sign. Oh, fuck. Ooh, okay. All right, we're good. Driving in downtown Orlando is very challenging, uh, especially when everybody drives like a dick. Sorry about that. All right, so anyway, so saying, so it was a good session. Um, finally get a day off tomorrow, which is really clutch because I haven't had a day off in six days. Obviously, I do a six-day split. Tomorrow is going to be a much-needed rest day. Hopefully, have this video up by tomorrow as well. Um, I didn't do four sets of bent over flies. I might, I'm going to take them out. I think I don't really like them. I cheat way too much on them because I want to go heavy. And when I start to go heavy, my grip really hurts with dumbbells like that. And, um, I was cheating them a lot. It was a lot of upper back and not so much rear delts. So I'm going to switch them out for some type of rear delt exercise. I already do face pulls and I already do, um, like the chest machine. So I don't know what else to do. I'll find some exercise that I like and just do them. Maybe cables, maybe like reverse cable, um, crosses or something so we'll see i'm gonna replace those because I, I did not like those at all um and i only did three sets of them i forgot i had four sets of curls but that was a almost everything was a pr today which is really good those donkey calf raises feel crazy good even though the angle i had was awful but <laughs> they feel really really good that's a really cool new machine so overall it was a good session um i need to go to Publix now and buy food i have nothing in my house so uh, unfortunately i might enter a catabolic state because i'm not going to have food for another probably hour or so and that was a three hour workout so it's gonna be about six hours without food which is not optimal for the uh, muscle building but it's all right i don't think it will kill me I might be leaving a little bit of gain on the table but obviously i'm pretty consistent so i don't think it's gonna hurt that much okay, i hope you guys enjoy i'm gonna try to film uh, two of my workouts this week obviously today is wednesday um i already filmed my thursday my friday workout last week so I might try to film my Saturday workout as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'd like to try to get at least two two videos up a week about this. Uh, I think it's it's really easy. I'm kind of doing the Sam Solik style, if you guys couldn't tell. Just, just trying to talk and keep it pretty raw. Um, yeah, so I hope, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. Uh, it's fun to do. And I pretty much record all my stuff anyway. So I might as well just post it. Uh, I'm going to be... Okay, let's cut this part out. 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like. Tell me if you want to see any specific thing. If you want me to go more in depth of how I'm setting up for something or like what my mindset is going under the bar or something like that, let me know in the comments and I'll do that in the next video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.